Hi, I'm Eli and I'm making games. So for today, I'm making a tutorial on how to make a checkpoint system in GDevelop. So what I have here already is just some basic art which is just pulled from the library provided by GDevelop. So you can get all these things yourself. So I'm going to show two ways to make a checkpoint system. One, if it's based off of how you want the player to come back to the checkpoint. If you want to reset the entire scene and load the player back up there, there's a w one way to do checkpoints with that, and the other is simply moving it to the checkpoint. They both use the ba same basic fundamentals, but they are slightly different, so I'm going to show you how to do both. So first, I'm going to do the one I know better, and that's simpler for me at least, which is resetting the entire scene. So, if we go into the events, this is just for animations, which just you know, I just have a play character in here. Nothing insane. So, firstly, we're actually going to want to go into global variables. And we're going to add two of them. We're going to call it check x. And check y. Now what these are going to do is we're going to store the data of where the checkpoints are within those variables. So, when we go here, we're going to click on whatever your player is, and when it comes into collision with um, whatever your checkpoint is, so in this case my cube, we're going to set um, those variables to whatever they need to be. So global variable so we're gonna set check x equal to so then we can come in here so we can see it's x is 96 6 and then do the same for y as to whatever we need it to be. So in this case, 416. So now that we've tracked it, we actually want to make it so the player goes to that on the start of the scene. So, we're gonna go here, we're going to go to scene, and at the beginning of scene is our condition. And then we're gonna set it so that our dino, so my player character, position is set to global variable check x and the same but for check y. So now that we have this and we start up our scene, our player starts up here and that's because we don't actually have a default, but if we were to go over this, it would actually change it, there's no way to die right now, so we can't actually see if it works or not. So now we need to make the spikes actually do something. So we're going to go into spikes. And when in collision with our dino, we're simply going to reset the scene by changing the scene to itself. Try this out. So if I jump over the cube, it goes up there, but if I go through the cube, it goes back to the cube. Now we need to do the second type. So if you just want this, there you go. Typically, you want to add some form of transition of sorts, but this works for most things. Now, if you wanted, say, another checkpoint, so say we take Blue Jewel, we can do the same thing effectively. So, copy and paste this, change it to my other checkpoint, the Blue Jewel, 
and change the values. So we have 512, 512, and 416, so that's already in there. So we go in here, goes to that, so we hit this, it goes back to this. Now that's for our reset. So that's to reset the entire scene. But maybe you don't want that. And obviously with how you're going to have this work, if you want to have both types, say for instance when you fall into spikes you just want to go back into a hazard respawn or something, you'll use the second type, which we haven't gotten into yet. But the first type would definitely be better if you want to reload everything, respawn all the enemies back in, things like that. Larger distances, it's probably preferable to do that. In which, we can always, if you want to do both in a game, you can always make another check X and check Y type of variable, just under a different name. So now we're going to move the player to that position instead of just resetting the scene. Now this too is pretty simple, but I need to get rid of some code here. Um, the reason we have to do this is just because uh, they clash with each other. Because right now I'm just doing it if I hit the spike. And so I actually don't need this second type of spike. Um, but right now we still have these. This is still important. We still want that global variable to be saved. But now instead of setting it to where the beginning of the scene is, we need to just move in there. So, when our player, and I ha did do these inverse both times, it doesn't matter if you do the collision from the spice perspective or the players, it doesn't change anything because they are the same collision. So when they collide, you're going to want to take the dinos position and set it equal to global global variable now you may notice that this is basically the exact same set of code from the last thing which is true but the difference is is that in this case all you're changing is your player's position before we also would have respawned everything that would have been taken out. So say you killed an enemy or something, well when you respawn, do you want the enemy to spawn in or not? If not, you'll use this. But if you do, you'll use the other strategy I mentioned. But yeah, here's... Yeah, so here it is. So, go on the cube, go back there, go on the diamond, or go back here. Now, my hitboxes aren't the most intuitive thing on this player, which I probably could adjust. But yeah, so that's how to make a checkpoint system in GDevelop. Now, I would like to note, because you are dealing with Google variables, they are saved throughout scenes. So, if you would like to reset them, say you made the gameplay again or something, I would highly suggest when you start up the game resetting those variables back to whatever your base value is just because it could be finicky if you don't. But yeah, that's how you make a checkpoint system. Nothing absurd. As you can see, discarding my animations, that was for two checkpoints and moving the player it's only three events, which I say is pretty good. But yeah. So if you enjoyed this tutorial or you found it constructive or it was good or something, uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe and stuff, and yeah.